problem with overvolting a stampede is that often the blaster will run away, meaning that you may take your finger off the trigger, but the blaster will continue firing until the blaster is out of ammo or until you switch it off using the uh, safety switch. There's a very simple uh, way to address this problem, and I'm surprised no one has done it before, because I think everyone's just afraid of it. This is the spring, or these are two springs right here, that um, used to sit on the switch that we just saw. The switch that is pushed down by this white lever when you pull the trigger. And that little spring, one of these little springs that is, is the only thing that pushes back against that white lever and stops it from uh, going on that runaway. So what I'm going to do is just take two springs from another old dummy switch and see how that works when I put them on the one switch that we're uh, using right now. Now this is the main switch that I'll be using here and it really doesn't come on, on camera but all I did was nest uh, the two springs that you've just seen together into that one switch and so now when it's underneath the white um, lever here it exerts twice as much force and actually that seems like it'll be a heavier trigger pull which makes sense but now that should solve the problem of runaways with overvolting the um, stampede. So now on the outside it looks the same as it did before, except now when you take your finger off the trigger, it'll basically stop firing. It won't empty the clip or you won't need to operate the safety switch to make it stop. So this is a completed uh, blaster with everything in it. Double vaulted as you'd expect. No messing around here. That's 18 volts, uh, 12 one and a half volt AA batteries. I'm just gonna screw it in real quick. And we're gonna see how this works now with the uh, little spring trigger mod. I'm going to count out the shots one at a time. I load it up with 15. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do a couple three rounds now. And we're out. But as you see, no real, um, no real overfeeding there. That basically solves a problem unless you want to get into putting new hardware in there. But other than that, works pretty good.